The night of Jesus' birth began as any normal night in the world. As we hear, the shepherds in the region where Jesus was born were out doing their usual work. Nothing new to report. Just another quiet night in the fields of Bethlehem. Imagine the shepherds with their flocks on the hills, bright stars in the sky, moonlight shining down on it all. They all meeting up for small talk this rough group of young men living on the edge of town. Not unlike factory workers gathered at a local bar after a hard day's work, they swap stories, laugh a little, maybe take a snuff from their wine pouch. Yes, just another hard day's work that night, keeping a watch over their flocks when all of a sudden, something they have never seen before. An angel of the Lord stood before them. The dark and peaceful blue of the night shattered by the glory of the Lord that shone around them. Naturally in fear, as their eyes tried to adjust to the glorious light of heaven, they didn't know what to think. Thank God there were others around to see this. And then, if this amazing experience of an angel standing before them wasn't enough, it spoke. Saying to them, do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. The shepherd's jaws must have dropped to the ground. And then to top it all off, all of a sudden the night must have seemed to turn to day. This was no ordinary night anymore. With the angel now a multitude of the heavenly host, an inbreaking choir of heaven, breaking the night silence and praising God, saying glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. Such a bright moment of excitement had come to them, the excitement of heaven itself, but but then... As quickly as it all appeared, it was gone. The light vanished. The angel and the multitude of the heavenly host gone. The singing done. The night had returned. As if this mystical moment in time never existed. They must have wondered if it really happened. They must have thanked God that others had seen it too. And it was then, before they even picked up their jaws from the ground, that their curiosity got the best of them. They were excited in ways that only Christmas, that only the birth of the Messiah can bring. They couldn't help themselves. Our gospel lesson this evening tells us that they dropped everything. The shepherds saying to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. They just had to go see for themselves. Was this real? Would they actually find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger? Was this message of good news, of great joy for all the people real? They were so excited that they couldn't help themselves. They couldn't wait to find out, to see what the angel had told them with their own eyes. So with haste, in a hurry, as our reading says, they went. And very soon they found Mary and Joseph and a child lying in a manger. 
I can't imagine how they felt when they walked in and saw the sign that the angel had promised them. A child wrapped in bands of cloth, just as the messenger had foretold. It was true. It was all true. The long-awaited-for Messiah, the Savior of creation, had finally come, God with us, the Emmanuel, right there. Now, no longer feeling silly, no longer questioning their own eyes and their visions of angels in the night, they made known to everybody, everybody they saw, what had been told to them about this child lying there. That an angel from a heaven had shared with them that this child was the Son of God the one that had been prophesied about for so long, the one who would right the world and bring about God's kingdom on earth, the one who was the good news for all people. Yes, it was these simple shepherds who got to tell this amazing story. And as we hear in the gospel, all who heard it shared in their excitement. All were amazed at what the shepherds told them. Somehow they too saw that this child was a miracle. With God's help, they too received this message of good news in a night that seemed like any other, and their excitement grew together. Even Mary, who had already been shared exactly who Jesus was before he was even laid in the manger. When she heard these words shared by the angel to the shepherds, she took them to heart, treasuring them, pondering them, her heart filling with a joy and excitement that filled it completely up. And then, just as fast as the angel had appeared to the shepherds in the darkness of a mundane night in the fields, this moment, too, came to an abrupt end. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. What had begun as a normal night had turned into the most amazing moment of their lives. Another important moment had passed in the history of humankind. A moment so brief and bright that it couldn't last forever. It was true. It was all true what the angel had shared. The long-awaited-for Messiah, the Savior of all creation, had finally come, and he had come in a way that nobody had expected to a people that nobody would expect. Good news shared through people that nobody would have ever imagined. So quick and so bright, good news like a flash that changed the world forever. Tonight on this Christmas Eve, we come together to hear again this beautiful story of God's bright light entering our normal and maybe even mundane lives. Like the shepherds, it is but a brief moment when the light flashes, a surprise to us all, blinding us with good news. Then gathered here like them, we too get to witness this prophecy coming true. A message of good news, a message of salvation that flows out into the world, light radiating from an angel through the people, through you. A people who can't help but come and see 
the birth of the Christ child, the one promised long ago to be the Savior of the world. I thank God that we this year get to be the ones who get to share this good news to the world once again. This news that still gets us excited. Like the shepherds, it is through simple people like us that this amazing and exciting message gets shared from above. You have seen the light again tonight. This Christ child in the manger is your sign. This is it. So go out into the darkness and share what you have been told. Share just this simple story of the birth of Jesus into the mundane lives of your family and friends. Tell them of your excitement about what this night means. Because though it might look like it, we know that this night is anything but normal. May you, like the shepherds, be filled with as much joy and as excitement as they were to share this good news with all that you meet. God bless you with the excitement of the birth of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Merry Christmas and Amen.